What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the marksman, Mia. Mia has a good set of mobility buff crowd control and burst skills. Our Moonlight Archer, Mia, is a marksman hero. I consider Mia as a sneaky marksman since her ultimate makes her invisible. Not only that, she is really mobile and could push lanes faster because of her skills. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Mia based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain their skills one by one for further understanding. Mia's passive, Turbo, grants Mia increased attack speed. Every time she does a basic attack, she gains a stack for Turbo. Each stack increases her attack speed by a certain amount. Turbo can have a maximum of 8 stacks. This stack lasts for a few seconds. When the stack expires, the count will reset to 0. Her skill, Vision Shot, makes her basic attack split. Her basic attack can hit up to 3 enemies for a few seconds. The main target will receive a stronger physical damage, while the other two will receive reduced physical damage. Her second skill, Rain of Arrows, lets her shoot Rain of Arrows in an area. This deals 5 hits of physical damage to the enemies in the area for a few moments. Enemies hit by the skill will have their movement speed reduced. If an enemy takes 4 hits of Rain of Arrows, he will be frozen for a moment. Mia's ultimate skill, Turbo Stealth, makes Mia invisible. Upon casting, she removes all movement and pairing effects from her. She also becomes invisible for a short moment. Her ultimate skill also increases her attack speed and movement speed by a certain amount for a few seconds. There are so many items that you can buy for Mia. You can focus on offensive items since Mia is a marksman. For me, I choose to buy items that grants critical chance, critical damage, and physical attack. In my opinion, you can consider buying Swift Boots for Mia. Swift Boots grants her additional attack speed and movement speed. Having additional attack speed will make Mia attack more. This will let you deal lots of attacks. Especially during team fights. Buying attack items, such as Berserker's Fury can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, Dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount, for a short period of time. You can also consider Scarlet Phantom. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional attack speed and critical chance, after dealing a critical hit to an enemy. This buff lasts for a few seconds. You might also want to consider Haas's Claws. This item grants you life steal and additional physical attack. Its unique passive will grant you extra life steal when you health point reaches a certain point. You might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. You might also want to consider Wind of Nature. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and life steal. This item has an active skill. Upon casting this skill, you become immune to all physical damage for a few seconds. This is pretty helpful when going against one-on-one -on -one or in team fights as well. The item build for Mia really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt and game. One of the best spell to be used on Mia is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. You can also use Inspire to gain additional attack speed. More attack speed means more damage to be dealt during team fights. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman Emblem set. 
Custom Marksman Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Marksman. Set Fatal to its max level because it can give you extra critical chance. Higher critical chance means higher chance to deal critical damage. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage. Higher critical damage means higher damage on your critical hits. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce targets, movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. For me, it's the best thing to get. Why? Because this can help you chase enemies when your second skill is on cooldown. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage higher and the duration longer. That means, you can deal more damage with this skill. Prioritize second skill less since her first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade her ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of laning, pushing and clearing the lanes is never a problem for Mia. Mia's first and second skill can help you clear lanes easily. Also with her second skill, you can scare off enemies from the lane. I can hit you and let you die in a mile. In terms of jungling, Mia can kill jungle monsters easily. With her passive skill's attack speed bonus, she can kill the enemy in no time. Also with her second skill, this will immobilize the enemy to reduce the damage to be taken. We all know that jungle monsters are stronger in this meta, so we need to immobilize or disable them as much as possible. When against these jungle monsters, Mia's first skill now comes in handy. Your second skill slows an enemy down. You can use it to slow down enemies and escape death. Or you can use it to slow down enemies and chase them to death. With weakness finder on your emblem, you can further slow the enemy to death. In terms of team fights, I usually follow a combo for Mia. First, I use my second skill in an area that has the most enemies. This is to make sure that they are slowed down, and they could also be frozen by this skill. Then, I activate my first skill to fire a barrage of arrows to the enemies. Even if I use my first skill, I still keep distance from the eye of the team fight. Always remember that Mia is a marksman. She is not that durable as you think. I always save up my ultimate to counter skills that could immobilize me. In terms of chasing enemies down, I usually follow a combo for Mia. When there are no enemies that can immobilize such as Saber or Kaya, I use my ultimate immediately. This is to immediately gain the attack speed and movement speed bonus. With this buff, I can easily achieve max stacks for my passive skill. I can also chase the enemies faster. Now, I use my second skill to slow down the enemies. Then I activate my first skill to make sure I hit as many enemies as possible. But I also make sure that my positioning will not put me in danger. Remember that with weakness finder, you can also slow down enemies. Your ultimate skill is really what makes you mobile and stealth. With the invisibility granted by this skill, enemies won't have any idea on what came to them. Just take a look at this clip, Leo Mord didn't see it coming. Minotaur might have helped him escape. But with Mia's explosive damage and weakness finder, we were still able to slow down Minotaur and kill him. Now on this clip, I use my ultimate to confuse Argus. Your ultimate is really helpful in chasing enemies or escaping death. You have slain an enemy. Your ultimate, this will help you escape skills that immobilizes you. With the right timing, this skill can really turn the game upside down. Our inhibitor turret. Additional tip, as we know that Mia is as stealthy as she is, she can push lanes faster. With her attack speed bonus from her passive and ultimate, she can destroy towers in no time. Always aim for the objective of destroying the enemy base. Always aim for the objective. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Mia. This video just guides you on how to use Mia the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Mia. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers!